Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is the Prince of FNAF and if you're new here, please consider subscribing and also be sure to hit that notification bell. That way, you'll indeed be notified for any awesome videos like this in the future. Illumination presents The Grinch, it is a 2018 Dr. Seuss animated film starring the titular Christmas Hater, a grump with a mean streak plots to bring Christmas to a halt in the cheerful town of Whoville, but a generous little girl could change his heart. Starring Benedict Cumberbatch, Cameron Seeley, and Rashidia Jones, and was directed by Scott Moiser, and Yarrow Chini. Now, first of all, just to make things crystal clear, I hate Illumination movies. Whilst the animation is really good for most of their movies, if not all of them, the storytelling is absolute ass. And I'm not going to say that the Illumination version of the Grinch story is garbage like the other movies, but it's very mediocre compared to the Jim Carrey version and the original short film. In fact, it almost seems like Benedict Cumberbatch himself is trying to channel Jim Carrey for his version of The Grinch, which I think is quite ironic and funny. Now, something that I like that this movie did differently is that, well, yes, a lot of the films paint The Grinch as a misunderstood loner who's just grumpy because of something that happened in his past, now the interesting thing about this is in Christmas specifically, it seems like Grinch wants to learn about it, but at the same time, it's just too wrapped up in himself and his own kind of anger that he doesn't really pay it mind. But there are brief moments in the film where it almost looks like he actually wants to learn about it, but again, it's just wrapped up in his own emotions and can't really focus on the matter for too long. But I really like that they did that for this version of the character, which really gives him an emotional drive. Something that really turns me off about the movie, there's actually two things, is that Cindy Lou who acts like a punk in this movie, she's a literal punk and I don't like it. Another thing is the racism in this movie. Halfway through the movie, for some random reason, they give the Grinch backstory that we didn't need, explaining that he used to be an orphan and that nobody really wanted him, nobody was there for him, so he ran away up to Mount Trumpet where he lived and uh, lived alone in isolation. That seems kind of racist, because we're then treated to scenes showcasing other Who children who have families who got adopted, but he's the only one that's there. That seems so racist. It's so racist. Like, what, because he's green and they're like normal colored? It, it just seems racist to me. It might, I, maybe I'm overthinking it, but it seems hella racist to me. The story is much the same like every other Grinch story ever told in film. The Grinch is this isolated, mean-spirited loner who lives in Mount Truppet, far away from the Who's in Whoville, who loved Christmas. And then one day, after putting up with it for many, many years, he decides, I'm going to steal their Christmas, I'm going to steal their happiness, and then maybe I'll get some peace of mind. So he creates all these fancy gadgets to destroy Christmas and steal it and throw it off his cliff. But after meeting and having a nice heartfelt conversation with Cindy Lou Who, it changes his mind and then he has a change of heart. And then he brings all of the stuff that he stole back to the Who's in Whoville. They have a Merry Christmas and everybody lives happily ever after. Now combined with the overall racism, as it would seem, the stupid reindeer plot and the punk ass children, it's still a mediocre movie. It's never going to compare to the likes of the original story, short film, or the Jim Carrey movie, but it's a mediocre film. And that's all I can really say about it. It's not a bad film, it's not a terrible film, it's mediocre. It's something that you can enjoy just having in the background at a Christmas party or something, but it's not the best film out there. Again, I'm liking more of Jim Carrey and the short film. The thing that I really hate about this movie though is the reindeer subplot. And the movie actually acknowledges this throughout the film. Is there's a scene where the Grinch says, oh, you know, we need a reindeer for our plan. So they go and they find a reindeer and it's a fat reindeer. 
What was the point of this? Because shortly after, the reindeer just leaves and they go back to how it was in the original story where they have Max, you know, driving the sleigh. What was the purpose of getting the reindeer if you're just going to go back to a plot where Max just pulls the sleigh like he does in the original short film as well as the Jim Carrey movie? What was the point? And also they had the reindeer come back for some reason at the end of the film just to save the Grinch from falling off a of Mount Crumpet. It's so stupid. But again, mediocre film. Take it as you will. Hope you guys enjoyed my look at the film. It's, again, it's not a bad film. It's something that you could probably put on for your kids and they would enjoy it. But I personally wouldn't watch it. But with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed. Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays.